Uh, so this is a quick tutorial on how to edit existing embedded textures within a livery or within a yeah, YFT, whatever you want to call it. Um, so what you're going to need, you're going to need two programs, obviously OpenIV is a must, and you need this texture toolkit program, which can be found on GTA 5 mods, which will also be linked in the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the livery. So you're going to click file load and you're going to locate the livery. So you can see this is Odin 610. Say for example, I don't want it to be Odin 610. I want it to be mission row 131. You'd think, okay, edit, import, and you're not going to be able to find your texture. That's because your texture needs to be a DDS format. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up OpenIV. Okay. Try to drag this into here. Just make a quick test YOT, YTD, whatever you want to make. Drag your texture that you wish to edit, uh, that you wish to use. Make sure edit mode is on. So you're going to drag it in. DXT5 and make sure MIP maps are 1. If they aren't 1, just click properties and set to 1. This ensures that it's the highest quality, yet the lowest compression rate, meaning that the file size will be quite small. Alright, so once you've done that, just click export selected and make sure it's set to DDS. Don't worry about the naming so far. So once you've done with that, you can just close that and you can see that the DDS is here. You don't need this one anymore. Um, so minimize that. Now you think, okay, file import now. No, it's not going to work. So to get around this, locate your YFT, just click F2, copy the name, and then just paste the name into there. You're going to click file now, import. And you see that it's changed. After that, just click um, save. All right, and just to double check that it's saved, refresh, file, load this bad boy. You can see this is mission row 131 now. 